So, the episode opens with Trina. We meet her, Brad. She doing her thing. Trina want to ask her if she going to go on tour. Trina needs some more um, girls on tour. She liked what she saw, but she didn't like everything she saw. We already know pillowcases are definitely no. Hood Brad already then said yes. Trina asked her about pillowcase and said she a cool girl. We did a song together. I ain't got no problems with her. She cool or whatever. We just had business. That was it. That was all. Other than that, nothing else. But yes, I'm going on tour with you if you will have me. Oh my gosh. Now, Joy, I'm not telling you to slow down your life. I'm not telling you what to do or whatever. You kind of in a ties right now with tricking this divorce that I'm tired of hearing about. You talking about trying out with Briscoe. You did say he was fine last episode. So now you interested. Y'all know of each other. Y'all was about to be an item before he got arrested. But you was always claimed the trick. You know Trick Dead is not going to be okay with this, right? Um, You know he's going to make your life a living. You know what, right? I'm just saying, either you going to pick with a divorce or you going to be tied down to him. He already got an extra pillar case. But that's kind of messy on your behalf, knowing that you know you tied with that old man and you trying to go to better things. He dating, but it's obvious he don't want you to do nothing. He tied down and look like you okay with that. I don't know why that you okay with that, but it seems like you okay with that. Like I said, I pay whatever money I got to pay, even if, even if I got to pay his bill just to get out this divorce, I would do it. That's just me. I don't know if you want to use this as a storyline, keep on belonging this divorce, knowing all you got to do is just come out with his money and your money and get the divorce and be free from trick. But if you want to sit right here and play around and sleep around, making bad buddies, go right on ahead. Like I said, you and trick are messy. You even more messier. And you sound like a gold digger on top of it. Oh, so this is to get even more messier. So, you're talking about the pillowcase. Briscoe said, the pillowcase, pillowcase, the same pillowcase I was dating once upon a time. Yeah, that's her. Oh, so pillowcase just going around getting all the saliva she can gather then, huh? Sloppy seconds. Now, Joy, you finna get her sloppy seconds. I don't believe for one second pillowcase. I don't care how many times you can say you're a Christian, you go to church or whatnot, and trick with you, you giving him something. So I don't believe that for one second. You just ain't there just to make joke. It's not there to make Joy jealous. You giving that man sense. So you get enjoy sloppy seconds. Now, if Joy give Briscoe some, she get in your sloppy seconds. Y'all just love swapping saliva on these reality TV shows, don't you? Like, I understand that you going to meet up with somebody else and get somebody sloppy seconds. That's too close. To, that's too close for home for me. Like, y'all in the same circle. Y'all dealing with the same people. He didn't had the cake. Now you trying to get the hot dog. You done had Trick Hot Dog. Now she playing with Trick Hot Dog. Can y'all find anybody that haven't been with somebody that close to you? Or no, that, that's just a crime. Y'all can't find somebody that, somebody you don't know. And y'all ain't sharing answers. Like, that's just, mm, if you like it, I love it. That's, mm -mm, that's too close to home for me. I can't and I wouldn't. So... Trick Daddy decides to bring Joy and Pillowcase together. Basically, to air out they, their problems, to see who got the problem, what's going on, what's wrong, can we fix it, can we solve it, can we all be one happy family. So, to start off, Miss Pillowcase plays victim. She feel like she want to showcase. She feel like Trina didn't treat her right. She feel like 
Trino was clapping and dancing and so on forth, whatever she was talking about. She felt like even if she would have done the second song, she still wouldn't have got on this tour. Well, Miss Pillar Case, like Joy said, if you would have performed or did the second thing, maybe you could have, you would have impressed Trina more. Maybe you wouldn't have this problem. Maybe you wouldn't have had to show your behind. Maybe a whole lot of stuff could have happened, but you didn't give a chance to happen because you exploded and showed your behind when you didn't get your way, your little pillowcase bread. Then, on top of it, Joy go ahead and let the cat out of the bag and tell her, you talking about the streets and rumor has it. So, what about this in Briscoe saying that y'all had relations and this current while y'all dating? Trick upset, Trick get mad. Trick believe it. Trick running with what he heard from Joy because he know Joy ain't got no reason to lie when she in fact have several reasons to lie and allow this woman. One, she don't like to see you with this with this pillowcase. That's one. Two, she don't want to see you in the arms of another woman. Three, the way you hold on to this divorce with their lie, maybe she trying to hold on for you for dear life and trying to get the rest of your money that she didn't get before y'all was talking about divorce. Other than that, I can't help y'all out. Like, pillowcase, you're a wild card. You got a big mouth. You act like a brat. Like Trick said, you are a crybaby. You always playing a victim. You got an excuse for everything, so... If this how you operate and this how you think the world react, just cause you whine and cry and say, ooh, man, I'm getting treated unfairly, you got a long life ahead of you, pillowcase. Just keep on living. Maybe one day you'll be on that California king bed one day, pillowcase. Just keep on hanging there, I guess. Yeah, Julian, that little, what are we going to call it? Um, that little call me Trina after all this time, you been owed that woman that conversation, that talk to let that woman know that I didn't use your name, this contract wasn't about you, I know you heard I got some money, but it wasn't none of your money, it was for me, for my company, um... Yeah, I was working with something with your name, but it didn't work out, so I let that go, and I worked on my own deal. Um, you is kind of moving kind of shyster. You is moving a little kind of snakish. Um, you is kind of sneaky, conniving. I ain't going to call you all the other stuff she calling you, a scammer, but you do kind of move kind of funny, Julian. No offense, but you do kind of move kind of snakeish. Like, you could at least call the woman and talk to the woman, I'm sorry for your loss. You wait to do that now when she, well, when Amara convinced you to go get Trina and make it right, stop ruining your name, which is ruining my name because I'm connected to you. If Amar wouldn't have told you to have this conversation with Trina, would you would have had this conversation with Trina? Um, furthermore, this woman been working with, working with you for years, a long, long time ago. Not have the woman thinking that you did something behind her back or you snaked her behind her back, like Julian. You either doing this for TB or you move like this in real life. I don't know which one of the term in, but I don't like the way you move in. If I were Trina, I wouldn't have no more dealing with you. Whatever I got to pay to get you out of my contract to get you away from me, I'll pay it. Because the way you move it, it's slimy. Like, you don't like you known her for years. You treat her like she's an up-and-coming new artist like Amara. You give her her little time as possible. You barely communicate with her little as possible and all this. And yeah, I see why Trina, why Trina calling you all this stuff. Not so friendly words because you're moving like one. You acting like one. You kind of shysty. 
Um, you're moving slimy. You're looking kind of mm, like if I was her, I'd cut you off completely by the neck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, we get an in-depth look of Suki. Suki, Suki, Saki, Suki, whatever her name is. She in. And now, we got Chaotic trying to get her off of Instagram into music. And we also have Miami Tip, who struggled season one and season two. Now want to take Suki under her arms and help her become a star. Now, Miami Tip, you look better this season. Look like season one and season two, you learned your lesson about how you was looking, how you was dressed. I don't know why you want to tutor somebody, baby. Have, have you got somewhere yet? You trying to get the next person off the ground? And I don't think you got off the ground. Oh, okay. Everybody want to mentor everybody. They ain't got no pot to piss in or to throw it out the window, but they want to mentor everybody. Okay, I guess. Oh, so now she playing as manager. Mm. Okay, um, Miami Tip, you want to play manager? I, it ain't none of my career. If you want to manage manage somebody else's career and manage it to the ground, by all means, have fun with it. It ain't none of my... Mm, I don't know if I would trust you, but Sucky Young, she... Mm, have fun. So now we the Jocelyn. Basically, she in the script club. Basically, she's saying she knows she's going to have some salty bees. And basically, if you got a problem with her, come see her. You know where she be at. Just come holler at her. So, we talking about Prima Donna and her hatred for Prima Donna and calling her a pig and calling her all this and that. Jocelyn... We cool or whatever. I agree. I don't like Prima Donna as far as I can throw her. But, yeah. Why don't y'all just go ahead and fight and get it on over with? Y'all been arguing enough on social media. Y'all been going at it for years. So, why don't y'all just go ahead and fight and get it on over with? I would like to see that fight. So, I welcome y'all to fight. Stop all this arguing and Twitter fingers and Instagram fingers. Just go ahead and fight. Set up a celebrity. Well, I'm about to see a celebrity boxing match. Set up a little boxing match with y'all or something. We watch y'all see. Maybe y'all will get over it then, I guess. So, we are back to Pillowcase. She in the club, yelling, hollering, still mad. That trick kicked her out of her house. Still mad that Joy threw her under the bus. She's still mad. Whole pillar case. Maybe you'll find yourself a home. That Nissan looking good. Maybe the back seat will be comfortable. I don't know. Why don't you tell me? But I'm pretty sure you'll find another place to go lay your head for crying out loud. How hard is it for you to find a bed to lay in? Oh my gosh. Prima Donna. <laughs> You and us, you know I sell waist trainer. I got them in all sizes. You want one? Let me know. I got. Don't nobody want your waist trainer, prima donna. You're a cute girl. You annoy the hell out of me. Don't nobody want your waist trainers. You've been selling them things ever since we met you, and you're still selling them. You should be sold out by now. I'm so sick of you trying to promote these damn waist trainers everywhere you go. You was on marriage boot camp promoting these same ones, asking you not using them yourself. Like, Prima Donna, gone with the waist trainers. Ain't nobody got time for no waist trainer in 2020. That's all. People using, people using skinny tea before they'll use your waist trainer. Cut it out, Prima Donna. Ain't nobody got time for that. So now we the Briscoe celebration getting out the his party. Everybody talking about Briscoe. Everybody talking about they want a piece of Briscoe. 
But it looked like Joy got him. She meets him up. Well, she walks up to him, hug him. Hey, how you doing? But everybody else won't bring a skull. But look like Joy got him. I guess. If you like sloppy seconds, go right on ahead, Joy. Who who am I to stop you for getting your sloppy seconds and join jelly beans? Oh, boy. Pillowcase to the Briscoe party. And here she go. They said we had sex. Now tell them you lying. Whatever floats your pillow. They said they didn't do it. They wouldn't have to go around explaining this, talking about it, putting up all this pressure, bringing it up, starting more fires. You acting like you guilty. Are you guilty, Pillowcase? Because you acting like a guilty person trying to plead your case and try not to go to prison for getting caught up in a lie right now. That's what you acting like. Ah! Joy lied. They didn't have sex. He said, no, we didn't have sex. Basically, Joy made it seem like they had sex, but they really didn't have sex. He didn't say no, you went along with it and went and told Trick that lie. So now that the cat out of the bag, now you a liar. Now Trick ain't gonna trust you any joy. What <laughs> this pillowcase situation is really going over the bed with me. Like really. Y'all really need <laughs> to cut it off with this mess on this show. So we haven't seen Shay in how many episodes? So now she back to punking Amara, Amara all over again. Look, I'm not telling you who you can and can't be friends with. I would have never put you in that JoJo situation. But if you do be friends with her again, we could never be cool again. That's called punking her, Shay. I don't know if you realize that or not. I don't know how many friends you done had in your life. But you don't tell a friend, a friend friend, you can't be cool with this said person because I'm not cool with this said person. If you're friends with that, if you friends with that person, we can't be cool. You, you are punking the hell out of Amara. And Amara is a fool to let you try that friend mess on you. You crazy, Amara. If you sit there and let this woman punk you like this on national TV telling you who you can and can't be friends with, Amara, you need to be slapped. I mean, literally. You sitting there letting this girl... Whatever, Amara. That's your friend. That's your funeral. You enjoy yourself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Amara boyfriend, Shay brother, goes... To Julian, confront him talking about kids, her contract, you're not making the right moves, this, that, and the other. Julian told you right. I appreciate the talk. I understand your concerns with Amara and all that, but this ain't none of your place. What are you doing? Why are we having this conversation? Like, you're just a boyfriend, you're not even much husband. Why are we having this discussion? You're moving too fast. How do you know you ever going to, well, how do you know you're going to be in a moral life long enough to deal or have the perks of a husband and worrying about her career and all this and all that? Yeah, buddy, you moving too fast. Shay, brother, sit your behind down somewhere. So, the episode ends with... Shay loud brother, just like her, yelling at Julian, about to fight Julian. Amara uh, sitting over there with Prima Donna, I forgot that thing name, Prima Donna, about to faint, about to pass out, because she can't handle the drama. And that's basically where it in there. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.